Welcome back, everybody. We have Gord Stewart joining us, Executive Director of the Big Little Science Center, and here joining us with, of course, an experiment that we'll get to in just a, a little bit here. But uh, thanks, Gord, for joining us because I know you have a lot happening at the Science Center right now, yeah. lots of different mm -hmm. events and things that are, are coming up as well. Yeah, so you've been a, busy. It's been, we've been busy. Yeah. 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 Lots going on. So the first thing I wanted to mention just quickly because it is happening tomorrow is the murder mystery event. Yeah. Now we talked about this the last time you were on, uh, but maybe give us a little recap of, of what that will entail for people. Yeah, basically it's an adult event at the Science Center. It's uh, tomorrow night um, and you get your tickets at the door if you want now for okay. tomorrow night. There's still um, some. There's still room. some. Yeah. yeah. And basically we have a, a, some live auction items. We've got stuff, for, there's some pretty good stuff there actually. Some things um, from Monte Creek Winery, mm -hmm. Zaza, uh, Lac Jean Resort, Morelli Churco, wow. KSO, a bunch of different things you can do there. Okay. Plus, you know, we're, we have um, the Valhalla Smokehouse doing the catering and mm -hmm. uh, there's some actually some wine from Monte Creek as well, that kind of thing at it. Scorpion Technologies was actually nice enough to help us out with it. It's a fundraiser okay. for uh, a junior robotics program we're trying to set up. Okay, so, so you is, don't have this program currently in place, No, right? we don't. We've you had do a, have a robotics yeah, program. Yeah, and it's though. for the slightly older kids. We've had a lot of demand for that slightly younger kids that okay. are just a little too young for the stuff we have now. Right. So we figured if we could get this equipment together and we can have that younger group get started on the robotics mm -hmm. too as well. Great idea. Yeah. Um, and also just a chance to get into the Science Center. Yeah, get into the Science Center and have some fun. Have you know. some fun, yeah. yeah. Is it kind of like a big game of Clue? The murder mystery is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be a... <laughs> It's going to be an acted murder, not a real one. Yes. And yes. Then, no. Then no. The, yeah. The, don't be alarmed. The, yeah. Don't be alarmed about <laughs> that. And the, the, all the guests are going to try yeah. and figure out who who did it, basically, who did it? how they yeah. did it. Yeah. So it's going to be. It is know, like a clue. Like I love a big it. game of clue. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so that's tomorrow night. Uh, and again, you can get your tickets now by going to the door. There's still some room. Uh, the next thing happening, uh, of course, is uh, Halloween. Of We mm -hmm. have a Halloween event that uh, you're going to be doing, a science event at the Science Centre as well, which I think we have a poster for. Yeah. So spectacular. this is spectacular. Yeah, and that's uh, coming out the 20th and 26th on the Saturday. And it's going to be, a, you know, there's a bunch of science demos, spooky science demos going on okay. all day long. And if you're, if you're dressed up in a costume when you come in as a kid, you get to come in for free. Oh, so, wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So it's so kind of a fun, spooky science day. And that's happening pretty much all day. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah 930 yeah. to 5. Excellent. Okay. Um, what else is coming up? I know we have uh, the lecture series, which has been really quite popular um, over the last little while. We've talked a lot about it. So there's another one happening um, pretty soon as well in November, right? Yeah, November 12th, and it's our um, misinformation session. It's, it's kind of a more of a discussion than a lecture, really. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the, all about... The discussion the, series. Discussion <laughs> series, yeah. It's all about the misinformation that's out there and how it's being used to manipulate people and how to look at it and deal with it and just okay. discussions around what it is and how to identify it. Um, it's, it's become an issue in the last few years just with a lot of the way social media operates yes. nowadays and things. So, yes. we, so we have a series going around for people who are interested in learning more about how that works and maybe how to identify some of it and some ways to avoid it. So, so do you bring speakers in for this or how um, does that work? This, yeah, they're, they're not sure in this case, I wasn't directly involved in who's getting coming mm -hmm. in for that one, but yeah, it's But we, you have done that in yeah, the past. Yeah, in the past, yeah, we yeah. do. And this, and a couple of times we've brought in different speakers around the similar subjects to this. That's great. So. Okay, and then one more thing I wanted to add before we get to the experiment is uh, the winter day camps. We're kind of going ahead here to December, but yeah. uh, really want to sign up for these quickly. I'm sure they'll, they'll probably fill up but this is a great opportunity during uh, that sort of holiday break uh, to get in for a day and enjoy uh, some science. Yes yeah, for some of the kids who want to you want to come in for a, a day camp basically mm -hmm. we, we usually run a, a week-long one but this year the way the holidays fall there's not a not a week. Not a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah not a full so week. So we've got either. a scattering couple of days in, in December and a couple of days in January there where there's an opportunity to, to come in for a day you can come in you can book for one day or you can come for a couple of days of the mm -hmm. camps or all four there's four different days basically. And they do they have different age groups. Different, different age groups yeah I think we're covering sort of one to four five six seven year olds I think on them depends it says on the poster or yeah. on the website you can figure out what the days are for which camp and what's going on. Okay all yeah. right excellent so that's a good opportunity for uh, the winter break and to keep the kids busy. Yeah. Uh, now is there anything else uh, Gord that you wanted to add just before we get to the what you brought here? Well I think that's it for my list except ha happy mold day to everybody happy out there. Happy mold day yeah, yeah. that's the first thing Gord said to me there from you six, go. Yeah from 602 to 602 today. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> If people know, I'm not referring to the little critter. I know you're not, but I hope everybody else knows <laughs> they'll, that. They'll, yeah, they'll figure it out. Yeah. 
<laughs> They'll so, figure it out, yeah. It's, it's um, a, okay, so you brought uh, something here that is going to be demonstrating uh, thermal dynamics, right? Yes, yeah. Basically, it's, it's, it's getting into winter. I got up this morning, it was a little chilly. It was, frosty. So, so I thought about that, and, and it, this, this little process here, a demonstration just between, between an insulator and a conductor. Okay. Of heat. Yeah. Because um, basically you can't add cold or take cold away from anything. It's a movement of heat that changes temperature. Right. So one of the one of these items is actually an aluminum block and one's a plastic block. So plastic is an insulator, aluminum is a conductor, and if mm -hmm. we put a piece of ice on there, it mm -hmm. will show, and I should do that now because it takes a little bit to go, it will show the difference in, um, just trying to get two similar sized pieces. It'll show a difference in the heat conductivity between the two. Okay. And you know, it's almost immediately. So that's the, the aluminum one the there. The aluminum one is a good conductor. That's so it's, right it's, away. Yeah, so right away, the ice is pulling heat out of that metal into the wa and melting the ice. Okay. So the heat's moving from the air and the metal into that really well. With the, with the insulator here, we're mm -hmm. seeing almost no change because it's insulated. There's no heat movement very well. Yeah. So the, the, this, this is melting like crazy because it has all that heat that's being moved into it. That's so, interesting. Yeah. So okay. It's, so that's why you, you don't wear a metal jacket in the winter time. Say, <laughs> or any sort of cold, kind of, you need to, you know, the insulation, that's what's yeah. going to keep you really, and, really and warm. That cube will disappear within a little bit, and then you can notice the other one is not. That's the idea of, you know, if you get your down jacket with all that air, which yeah. is a nice insulator, it's, it's a lot allowing the heat from your body to leave. Oh. So you have to remember that the heat movement is all about the heat going away or, com or coming, coming in. Coming in, yeah. yeah you, you can't add cold to something or no. change that. So. Yeah. If you insulate yourself from your heat leaving your body, then you're good. Then you should stay warm. You should stay warm. frosty mornings. That's also why if you lick the flagpole, all the heat comes out of your <laughs> tongue and you freeze to the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, definitely. So don't test that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you heard it from the expert. Thank you very much, Gord. Always a pleasure. More information on the screen for Big Little Science Center. Check out their Facebook page as well as the website. Lots of information on the upcoming events. And stay warm. Stay insulated, everybody. We're back in a moment. Thanks. Thank you.